morning and happening today. Yeehaw! It's the Pikes Peak or Bus Rodeo kicking off here in Colorado Springs. Uh, a little later today, they will start all those festivities. That's right. This year's rodeo will host more than 200 contestants from across the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, all hoping to win a piece of that $1 million payout. 11 News reporter Aaliyah Burgraff joins us live from the Norris Penrose Event Center in Colorado Springs. So, Aaliyah, what is the plan for this week? Good morning, guys. We are still out here this morning. I still have not personally found a cowboy hat yet. We're checking in here with Corey Wall, general manager of the Pikes Peak or Bus Rodeo. You're geared up, ready to go starting tonight. What are some of the events that people can expect here? Well, you know, as soon as you pull in, you know, you need to get here before probably 3, 4 o'clock because uh, this place is going to be packed and we're expecting a lot of people. Starting on, on a Tuesday this year, you know, we've added another day to our, to our rodeo. And, uh, you know, just as soon as you get here, the fan zone, as soon as you pull up, there's lots to do for the family. And then when you get in here and get your seat, when the rodeo action starts, get ready because it doesn't quit until we're done. Absolutely. And so seven is when the events in here start, but what kind of goes on before that starting round four? You know, uh, like I say, the fan zone, there's a lot to do and it's not only for the kids. There's some stuff for the grownups to have some fun out there as well. And I, and I know, you know, unfortunately I don't get to go out there because there's a lot of preparation that goes on in here for the rodeo, but you know, a good place to park get you something to drink, maybe a snack, and make your way over to the rodeo. We start at seven o'clock, and when I say we start at seven o'clock, the action really does start at seven o'clock. Right, and I've been seeing everywhere that tickets really do kind of sell out for this. So how do people get their hands on a ticket and make sure they secure a spot to come watch? You know, you just got to get on that website. Uh, pikespeakerbusrodeo.org um, try to get your tickets and again you know it does sell out quick because it's the hottest event in town and uh, you know it, it's just a great event and it's, it's been here for 83 years I believe now And but be, because we became the NFR open at the Pike Speaker Bus Rodeo uh, we've gotten some national exposure and so we have a lot of people coming from outside of the Pike Speaker region to come and be a part of this. And we have contestants coming from Mexico, Canada, all over the place. There's just going to be a great crowd here this week. Yeah, there is. I just talked to a guy that they were up from New York last oh. night. I was talking to him. He's warming his horse up and another family that was from Florida. And, uh, you know, they came over a little bit early just trying, trying to make kind of a nice week out of it and a little bit of a vacation to enjoy. You know, the Pikes Peak region is beautiful, one of the most beautiful places in the country. And so for them to all stop here and have fun for a week and hopefully make a lot of money, um, it's going to be not only great for them, but for the fans as well. Absolutely. Well, guys, going to be a lot of fun and a lot of action going on here. So make sure that you do get those tickets. And again, it starts at seven, but you can come into the fan zone around four. Fun for the entire family live in Colorado Springs. Aaliyah Burgraff, KKTV 11 News. Love seeing all those animals. Thank you, Aaliyah.